Alright guys, we're just sitting outside, getting some fresh air, huh buddy? Yeah. It's really cold today though, it's very, very breezy and brisk. So I don't know how long we'll stay out here, but he needs some fresh air and I need some fresh air. So we're just sitting at the basketball court, getting some air. Yeah, and some sunshine. Just waiting for dad to come home. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I'm cooking dinner tonight Well, mama helps with tummy time. Mom has actually done everything today, including laundry, dishes, cleaning up the house, vacuuming, taking care of a crazy four-month-old baby. So the least I can do when I come home from work is to make some dinner. What I'm going to do tonight for all you guys at home, I'm going to send some of this to you guys via the emails. Some red potatoes, some chicken, anything else? I think that's it. Just took a little power nap, feeling more tired than I did before. Let's cook dinner. Mom, I hate tummy time. Hey, Mr. Gray. I love you. Fun fact, everybody. Sam was a prep cook. Did you know that? Did you? Prep cook at a restaurant that no longer exists. That's how great I am. They had to retire and close it down because they were just doing so well. I was a prep cook for how many months? Three to four months. The whole summer, basically. Also, I had to wash dishes. It was right before Jen and I got engaged. I made absolutely no money working way too hard. It True story. True story. I also was known as the onion ring guy <laughs> because I could cut onions and I wouldn't cry. So he worked like, there I, with I had, like, Mike, a deli right? machine, and I would be like super dangerous. And I also blanched the fries. You know, I got I did a lot of different stuff. Yeah, that was a fun job. You at least you had Mike there to work with you, so you weren't too. Yeah, we're just my buddy, but we, <laughs> me and my friend, we went in, and got the job together, which is always a bad idea, and it, especially when they give it to you. <laughs> and we were working together for a while, and then they were like, "Hey, maybe we shouldn't have you guys work together." <laughs> yeah. So then they stopped scheduling us at the same time, which was really annoying. I was working like overtime too. You were a ton. On my feet, they wouldn't even let me eat. Like seriously, it was terrible. Aggies in Logan. Wow no longer in loan because it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, but so, it was so bad that there was like a, a cook there that would see me working super hard. He's like, dude, I haven't seen you eat it all today. I was like, I know, they won't give me a break. So he would make me a sandwich and sneak it to me. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know that. And then they would bring back food that people like, like that was bad and you can touch it. Well, they hadn't eaten it. There was just something wrong with their order. Yeah, like, oh my gosh. I'll I put, what, I know onions. I'll tell you what onions are my nachos. <laughs> <laughs> Funny story though, one night Mike and I had to wash dishes, so closing, so I brought in this portable speaker, hooked it up to my phone, and we freestyled all night. I was just about to bring something up about that. Hold on. Binky break. That's where I learned to cut potatoes like that. I had to hold the knife, like, they told me like, you know, like this. So it's, he learned a proper <laughs> way. Oh wow, where's Mike? You guys need to bust a, a rhyme right now. Bust a rhyme. <laughs> Fun fact about that same summer, since he and Mike were hanging out so basically all day, every day. Hold on, binky break. Fun fact, yes, I know I'm balding. That's why I never put my hair in a ponytail. Um, <laughs> third or fifth fun fact, that same summer, Sam and Mike, and who else? Hillary did it. Who we just saw. You, who we just, just saw. They created a song to, you know, what, what's, the, what's the original song called? Airplanes. Airplanes. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? Well, one night they went up to campus, sat on the roof of the LLC, which, which is, is where, which is where Logan McKay is living. What's up? Shout out Logan McKay! 30, <laughs> anyway, they went up there, wrote some new lyrics to the song melody, and made up their own version. And Sam, you should insert a little quick. You guys want to hear it? You guys want to hear it? Let's go. Can we pretend? Right now, wish right now, wish right now. Ha 
Happy birthday to you now, blow out the candles Wishing every day of your life you could handle Let's talk about something a little more common I know I've seen a lot of Dana lines in the lawn And cost an arm in the lead for a gas Just Siobhan and there's a whole lot of hate now Grin against LeBron It's hate like this, I'm trying to outrun And I gotta change my name like my boy Chad Johnson Man, my life is crazy, man, it's a monster It's hard to break through, man, life is a lobster I know a lot of people who could use a few wishes This goes out to all my boys that be washing dishes I can't really get more realer than this Now step up to the plate It's a hit or miss Just a little bit of hope You can paint your own picture It is what it is, man Write your own future You know how I got socks the other day at Target? Well, I decided not to get that $1 one And get a $3 pair But they're so much cuter Look how cute they are You ready to watch the Bulls game tonight? Yeah. Who's going to win? Us, us, us. Uh, what's, what's, what's? The Bulls, Bulls, Bulls. Voila. This plus this has turned into this. Hmm, that's a lot of bland food. That's going to be delicious. And not as bland as this squash. Yum. I love it. <laughs> How is it eating food? I mean, you've been doing this for like, what, a week and a half? A whole week. Well, I love it. I'm really tired right now because... Um, I'm going to bed in a couple minutes, but this food has just been delicious. It's really been, I mean, watch, watch what I eat. I'm going to eat some of this right now. Watch my reaction, okay? Just watch my reaction. Lip puckering good. <laughs> I was closing my mouth. Your mom's cute. Don't film me. <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. Oh my look okay? goodness, dude. So cute. <laughs> Can we pretend that dandelions in the night sky are like fully clovers? I could really use a wish right now. <laughs> hey, so I mentioned we're gonna start opening mail on Sunday and then posting it in the Monday vlog. Well, we weren't home on Sunday, so we're opening it on Monday and posting it Tuesday. What's up, dude? Hey, I have a question for you. Sure. Can we pretend that Dandelions in the backyard are like full leaf clovers. You're supposed to join in with me. Dude, you just. Oh, sorry. You just I'm having dinner with my landlord. Dang it. <laughs> you just ruined my vlog. Oh, we're filming? We're, we're filming right now. Oh, uh, this is live? Yeah. Say hello. Yeah, text me these things, dude. Give me a little, uh, forewarning. <laughs> We are decked out in our love scarves. Look at my hair. <laughs> we are wearing this because my sister is doing a project called the Love Scarf Project. I think it's actually a project that already exists, yes. but she's participating in it. Yes. And what they do is you make scarves and hats and things like that for people that have cancer, and then they go and deliver them to the hospital. Yeah. And it brings them lots of warmth and joy. It's, you know, it's one thing to donate money, and that's cool and stuff, but this... It's like handmade. Brings good feelings, yeah. good thoughts. And it's always so and fun receiving something that's homemade. Yeah. So I'm gonna post a link to her video that she's talking about that in the description. If you guys know how to knit, crochet, do Any fiber anything arts? like this, or have something that you wanna donate Or know anyone season, who knows how and can teach you. Go watch her video and learn how you can do that.
think she's posting that today. Yeah, and her go to her channel because her PO box is linked down below where you can like mail all of the scarves and everything to her. There you go. On to the mail. Mail time. Okay, so I didn't want this vlog to run long. So I cut it off there and I'm gonna be posting the mail that we open tomorrow. I promise you. I absolutely promise you. Anyways, go check out my sister's love scarf video. I put a link in the description. Also, it's time for comment of the day. You know, the comment of the day doesn't always have to be funny or clever. Sometimes I just like to hear about you guys and your lives. And this one, Jen Allstar, this may have nothing to do with the vlog, which by the way was amazing like always, but I have a huge hug, a huge hug, a huge, huge interview tomorrow for a journalist position. So any positive thoughts and prayers sent my way would be great. Thanks, Famica. Jen, we hope you were an all-star and that your interview went great. I like hearing about those kind of things. It's also fun that people were like, yeah, good luck. I love it. <sighs> I need to get some more hair gel. My hair's crazy. Jen just fell asleep on the pot. What? On the bed. Oh, on the bed. <laughs> Why didn't you say the pot? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you had a fun day today. Cooking with us, hearing about one of my worst jobs I've ever had. It was, you put so much work into something and don't get a lot out. <laughs> I think everyone has a crappy job once in their life. Yeah, I've had a lot of crappy jobs. I could talk more about those crappy jobs if you really want to hear about yeah. them. I think we've all been there. Some of us might be in some right now. But keep working hard and you'll make it out of it. You will get a better job. Yeah. Right, Jen? You had the same job for five years. That's Didn't get true. one pay raise. Minimum wage. That's okay, but I liked it. My job most of the time. The experiences we have, the jobs we have, whether they're awesome or bad, I mean, that's what makes us who we are. That's part of it. There's a lot that makes us who we are. Too. Yeah. I think we need to get a Christmas tree before it's too late. I think we do. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Love ya. Peace! So just hold time, we'll go along. That I see, I want your heart, love, and emotion endlessly. I can't get over you. The tortoise lays her neck back, falls asleep. <sighs> <laughs> wow!